Hyperbolic.com. Now, see here. <laughs> We're closing August 9th. We're all sad. You're all sad. You've let us know. Therefore, Broadway's Josh Grizzetti has decided to give you a final vlog from It Should Have Been You. We're going to pay some homage or homage. <laughs> <laughs> to some unmotivated winking, mm -hmm. room sheep, mm -hmm. everything else. <laughs> <laughs> but I now pass the torch to Broadway's Josh Grizzetti. <laughs> it's me! <laughs>
David Berger's replacement, Aaron C. Finley, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, uh, uh, so here's the thing. People ask this a lot when they don't know any better. Um, where are your microphones? People, we get that question yeah. a lot, right? A lot of fan mail. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna show you right now. Aaron, uh, would you do the honors? Dun, 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 I can't even see it in the screen. Wait, is it embedded in your forehead or is there a cord attached? It's funny you should ask that, Aaron. Would you just... Yeah, it's a pleasure. Wait, it's it's staring at me. Hold on. Oh, I can see it. You got a good shot there. There's the cable. Goes right down into a little mic pack that is housed right under my belt. You're welcome. Broadway secrets. Ladies and gentlemen, America's Time Daily. I'm being coached by Josh Grizzetti to do this. I'm not sure how to do this, but I am very grateful for any of you who came to see our play because it's a really fun play and I had fun communicating with you and stuff like that. Hello, goodbye, next adventure. Chip, what, yeah, uh, well, what's just, your problem? You don't want to do the video? No, I do. I do. And I, it's hard for me. I just feel drained. Uh, uh -huh. uh, and you feel drained. I feel I'm spent. drained because I live with this every day. I feel, and even though I'm blessed with comic genius, you get sucked, sucked away from me hey. by hey. having to deal with this. Have I ever told you that uh, I played the baker? I was the baker in Into the Woods. Did you? Do you know I was on Frasier did you, did as a famously seriously? recurring character you called Gil Chesterton? Did I ever talk about... People scream for me in the streets. I remember that they show was on for a while. Time. Did anybody ever talk to you about the, being the voice for Howard the Duck? Because when I got that, uh, I remember hearing your name mentioned at some no, point. No, because I was too busy being evil the cat on so Earth, so and Jim. Where are you going, Josh? Where are you uh, going, Josh? It's uh, good places I coming just up. Have it's, Thank I you guys, like, though. Uh, like hashtag uh, Chip's Choices. So Thank tired. you guys. Thank you. Broadway Secrets, Part 3. <laughs> this is the most important thing, Broadway.com, to understand before we close on August 9th. This is Ann Nathan. Ann L. Nathan. Ann L. Nathan. <laughs> she plays Mimsy, the okay. hotel worker, right, right. and Aunt Sheila. So when you go, <laughs> when you see the blonde Aunt Drunk Sheila, that is Ann Nathan. And for the entire, it's like the biggest mystery on Broadway. It is. Who plays Aunt <laughs> Sheila? Is Ann L. Nathan. That's how good she is. Thank you so much. That's true. Right. Thanks, That's man. true. They will ask us, like, why did Aunt Sheila not take a curtain call? Yep. She did take a curtain call, but she was dressed as Mimsy, the hotel worker. How do you feel about closing the show? I Going... feel bad. Yeah. I like the show a lot. I, I, I like everybody in it. I think everybody's so talented and fun and worthwhile and, uh, and always engaging, always fun to be with. Yeah. But one looks forward to a, a hostile environment where no one's any fun and people aren't talented, too. Do you have any idea what that show is going to be for you? Yes, it'll yes. be a solo show. <laughs> it'll be my one woman show called Intolerance. Hey guys, we're here with our final episode of Unmotivated Winking starring Broadway's Josh Gazzetti. Okay? Ready? Sad. Oh, you can't just you can't just throw this at me. That is the point. Okay. Probably Josh Grizzetti. Come on. All right. Okay. Here we go. Sad. <laughs> Scared. <laughs> Excited. <laughs> Confused. <laughs> Confused got two. That's what made. Yeah. Um, no, uh, um, all mine are gonna be, <laughs> all mine are gonna be Focus! You just found out that your Broadway show is closing. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> you just found out when your Broadway show closes, you're never going to work again. <laughs> no one knows who you are in the curtain call. <laughs> I'm not going to be in School of Rock. <laughs> I'm not going to Japan to be in Prince of Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> this is just getting dumb. <laughs> but when you edit it, it's going to be super funny montage. Oh. Super funny montage. Okay, Broadway.com, this is the final segment of the final video blog.
before it should have been you, um, reporting live from Box 2 here at the Brooks Atkinson Theater, which should always be kept empty for me. What? Uh, one of the best seats in the house, and it's the seat that I get every night, um, at least at the beginning of the show. Um, but truly, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Here's what they never tell you. You never really know. You get a feeling, feel a something. Take a breath and go. There's no big, crazy moment. Instead, it's bit by bit. You'll make him laugh. He'll make you soup. The shoe begins to fit. And what they never tell you, you choose if he's the one. He's not a prince, he's just a man. When all is said and done, cause no one is that perfect. Life is not that neat. So take a chance and take his hand and jump with all four.